Can you believe I created this video without any of the softwares and I did it all for free and I did not use more than 10 lines of Python code and I'm going to be teaching you guys in today's Python for 10 minute project video. Uh, so let's get this video started straight away. Alright, so I'm very excited to talk to you guys about the very important library called as MoviePy in today's Python for 10 minute project video and you need, you need just two important things. One is your Python 3.6 plus install in your system and you have pip install in your system and that's all it takes and i'm going to be using the pycharm id to get all the code and uh, we'll just get directly into the project right away thanks to unacademy and coacher for sponsoring us with this video i'm going to be talking about more of that in upcoming minute all right guys so first of all i'm going to be using the pycharm id like i said and it's very important that you understand the basics of this right away and if you want to have a very little bit of understanding of python i would highly recommend you guys to go check out a very basic crash course and that's all it takes to write this program so first things first we'll just let's install the movie pi library and pip as we know is a very simple package manager which is going to import and install all the important things so i'm going to be using the movie pi which is the library that we're going to use in this video so just do pip install movie pi and uh, we are directly going to get started so i've already gotten it installed so it says that a requirement is already satisfied but if you're going to be installing for the first time it will take anywhere from five to 5 to 10 minutes depending on your internet connection and if you come back here as soon as you have installed it in your system all right so i hope you that you have installed in your system and we're going to be continuing from where we left so first thing you need is a very simple python class so i'm going to be creating a very simple python class let me call it as a movie editor so the movie editor pi uh, is going to be the class we're going to write our program the first important thing that you need to do is import few things right so first of all we're going to import the movie pi dot editor i'm going to say just import everything from the movie pi dot editor and i'm going to get getting started straight away so first importantly we need to understand that every video is going to be a part of say let's say that's a video one video two and video three I need a video which is going to be just the three seconds from the first video, three seconds from the second video and three seconds from the third video. So how do I get that into my system here? So first things first, let's create something called as a clip and clip is nothing but a part of a video, right? So what we're going to do is make use of the movie pipe dot editor and we're going to use the video file clip class so video file clip class automatically takes in an input of an mp4 file so i've already taken few mp4 files for example for this video i'll go quickly add that as part of a project so as you see here i've added three important mp4 file clips and all of these are anywhere from six to eight minutes in video length i'll show you guys individually but it's going to take so much time so let's get continue with this let's assume that this is going to be your video clip so first thing i'm going to do is import my first video clip I'll just say the clip one.mp4. Similarly, I'll import all my video clips into my program. So I've got three important clips and all of these video clips are now going to be the entire video length. Now I want to cut it short to just the three seconds from zero to three is what I'm interested in. So what I'm going to do is make use of a very important or simple uh, method within the video clip, video file clip class, which is called as subclip. So all I need to do is just do a subclip and I need to reassign it back to clip one. So subclip is going to uh, return a portion of a video. So I'll just say start it from the zeroth second and take it to the third second. Now similarly, I'm going to do it for the second clip and the third clip as well. So now how many? Uh, so I've completed it. And how do you think how many? Uh, what is the length of the final video? It is going to be three plus three plus three. So it's going to be nine seconds. It's going to be the final video time. So I'll directly now go into adding or concatenating individual videos, and that's what we need, right? We need to add one, two, three into a final file. So I'm going to be calling the final or the final output is equal to I'm going to be making use of the movie pi editor again in th this time I'm going to be calling something called as a concatenate video clips I'm going to just do a concatenate video which is what you need so I'll just do concatenate video clips and we need to pass in a list of videos or list of clips here the clip is going to be clip one this is going to be the first clip it's going to be maintaining the order as well clip two and clip three very simple right so what we are now seeing is that it is completed finally concatenating the videos now we want to finally write this file out into our mp4 file so i'm going to be writing a final output dot write video file i'm going to put the final output name as well here i'll just put final dot mp4 and very very importantly we should not forget the codec so codecs are nothing but what is going to be the uh, encoding and the decoding uh, which the system can understand the important thing that you need to understand here is that we will be following something called as a h.264 
0.264 standard, which is what the MPEG-4 standard is. So in order to get that into our system, we need to use the codec. We need to use the codec libx264. Now this stands for the H.264 encoding. And automatically we will be able to see our final output. As soon as you run this, you'll be able to see our final output is trying to run. It's going to finally rendering your output. And you can see this right here. So let me take it out and put it into a simple folder. I would say maybe okay so this is where my file is and i'll try to see how it works now this is my final file now it is one two three cuts to the second clip and finally it's again seven seconds is cutting to the third clip and voila we're done we've concatenated three videos and we did not take more than five minutes that's very very interesting right but how do you add the audio audio is going to be making so much you know giving so much of dynamics to the video i'm going to be talking about how to add audios to your video clips after this one simple minute of your time i'm a big fan of free classes and i would highly recommend anybody who's teaching for free to go first go and make use of that and that's what these people at unacademy and coach of are doing if you're somebody who's trying to learn something for the first time or if you're somebody who's planning to be improve your coding skill or even prepare for a tech interview uh, this is where you got to start and if you if you see here these are not just test series but are also classes that are taught by experts in the field for example sanket tanuj arjun all of these people are just few of the experts who are going to be teaching you classes for free and as well as for live classes which you can make use of if you're for the first time using an academy highly recommend you guys to use the promo code coming down uh, to unlock all of these free classes if you see here these classes are not just just for the beginners these are starting from beginners to intermediate to us advanced as well as preparing you for a coding interview or even preparing you for miscellaneous activities as well very importantly if you're going to be starting something new i would highly recommend you guys to check out the upcoming pinnacle series which is about a one year structured course where you'll be able to get access to all of these different live classes from the experts themselves if you're going to be making use of that you will need a subscription but do not worry about that you can use the promo code again to get 10 percent off it does not matter if you're not going to be using all of these paid courses if you want to make sure that you're going to get a good start for 2021 make use of this free courses first of all and proceed from wherever you want to proceed and you'll be definitely seeing a very important change in what you're learning if you like this and you want to know more about it you can definitely drop a comment down below and we'll be very happy to assist you in that all right so thanks again for our sponsors we are back with what we left off so we have learned about writing a video file and finally what we need is to add an audio clip also to our video file so what i'm going to do is import a simple audio clip let me take it from there i've already added added it here i'm going to putting it back into our program or our project and first of all first things first we already have audio support as part of the movie pi dot editor so what we need is to create an audio clip uh, variable and I'll just use the moviepy.editor as audio file clip. Now we have we've been seeing the video file clip. Now we'll be using the audio file clip. Now all you need to do is import the audio audio clip. And this is where you need to understand that similarly how we are doing concatenate videos, we can even do uh, concatenate audios. But there is a simple class for that called as composite audio file. So you know composite is nothing but an addition, right? So what we need to now do is create a new audio clip. And this new audio clip is going to be nothing but using the movie Python editor composite audio clip and it will take an input of the audio clip. So this is nothing but if you have three or four different audios, you can again add it here. That's the main reason why I'm showing it. Similar to how we are doing it for the final output, uh, which is the concatenate videos, you can even concatenate audios to your videos as well. So that's the simple line. Now we've created our audio clip. We also have a separate uh, final output, which is going to be a concatenated video. What do you think we have to do next? very simple let's go to this line in next line we'll say audio is equal to the new audio clip and that's as simple as that we have created a simple audio we have created a composite audio clip and now we are adding the final outputs audio is equal to the new audio clip now this is something very very simple and trivial what i'm going to say now if you are using your uh, mac to write this program there's a very simple problem that happens with the quicktime editor or the quicktime player where you will not be able to play the audio without actually encoding the audio now by default the uh, windows is able to do that the ubuntu is able to do that but mac is not able to do that so what we need is what we need to do is add an audio codec as well the audio codec is aac and 
that finally we need to say remove any of the temporary files so now removing temporary files is very very important to re audio file now while I'll, I'll tell you why we need this temporary audio file this is actually a bug which has been filed and still yet to be resolved and i could not find any workaround uh, other than doing this step here now the temporary audio file should be in the format of m4a so we can just give something like this temp audio dot m4a so this is where the temporary audio file is going to be created and then after that it is going to be removed when the final audio clip that we added is going to be uh, merged with the video and it, the final video is going to be rendered so this is might look very trivial to you but let's run this program and you will see for yourself how the audio is added almost instantaneously we now have a nine second video and the final mp4 is also created let me pull it back into my i would say my desktop so that i can play it for you guys yeah it's available here and let's play it awesome right so now i'm um, hoping that you can actually hear this audio uh, if not you should be picking this mic should be picking this audio up and uh, you can see that instantaneously the 9 second becomes 10 second because the audio is overlapped on this so if you want to actually kind of kind of do that uh, or adjust that make sure to make this as a 4 second clip so that you'll have 334 which is 10 seconds and you'll have your file again so that's pretty much very simply you have created or you've edited your file or videos and attached an audio to it and have created a simple video editor without using any kind of software and not paying even a single time all you needed was a very simple understanding of python and some 10 lines of code and 10 minutes of your time and you've completed doing this if you like this video you know what to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel for a lot more content on similar projects i'll be meeting you guys in the next video until then it's bharat peace out have a super awesome day